again, my description when I would be explaining this to patients is, is I, would, I would draw sort of a, a diamond shape and say, this, this is the bad guy. This, this, is, this is the protein of the bad guy. And then I would draw another diamond shape and I would just leave the very tip of, of one of the, the, the points, bottom or top, off. So very similar, right? And now if you were, you know, functioning normally, you go, no, that's not the same. One's a diamond, one has a little bit of the tip off of it. It's not the same. And so therefore I know the distinction. That's true until you get overwhelmed and you're really rushed and, and you're exhausted, right? Um, that's the analogy I'm giving you for the immune system. And in that rush and in that exhausted state, it, it, thinks it's the same. So that's what's called molecular mimicry, one molecule looking a lot like the other. Now your thyroid, as an example for like Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is one of the most common autoimmune diseases, the protein in your thyroid is not the same as this bad microbe, but it's really, it can be very similar. And it's only in that overwhelmed state that your immune system says, oh yeah, that's a bad guy too, attack. And that's the beginning of autoimmune disease.